Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video we're going to look at this Vanchu N4 Pro Channel Wi-Fi dash camera that got sent to me to try out. It has a rear view camera, except for my situations in my Jeeps, the rear view camera is pretty much useless because the rear window is blocked. As you can see, there's a camera facing you and a camera pointed towards the road, of course. You need an SD card and that just goes into the side. And for a Jeep, you're going to need this suction mount that'll allow you to have the camera on a flat window, which I thought was really cool. Otherwise, it has a regular mount that'll work for pretty much every other vehicle out there in the market. A lot of people aren't going to fool around with the settings. They basically just want something that's going to set up, plug and play. So we're going to go into the menu features here. Just kind of like quickly go over them. Not actually go in depth, but just kind of see what kind of options you got. You got resolution, loop recording, IR LEDs, G sensor you can set up. And you can set it for front and rear, left or right, up and down, sensitivity. If you want to get complicated, most people really won't. Privacy mode. I believe if you turn the privacy mode on, it turns off the camera facing you. You can turn on rec audio recording on or off. Exposure, HDR, rotate display. You can download the app for this dash camera as well and you can do all these features through the app instead of fooling around with on the camera which makes it simple. For myself, I just like to plug and play. I'm not really going to go through a whole bunch of these settings and the app actually downloads the video super quick. Some dash cameras do it really slow but this camera does it very quick and it looks like a pretty good quality camera. Now we're going to start looking at the video. The video itself is nice and bright, but I feel it lacks stabilization. As you can see, like my Jeep TJ rides rough, but you can see the jittering. It has a jello effect to it. In a smoother vehicle, you probably would not have that, but that's just part of it right here. But other than that, the video quality isn't horrible. A lot of dash cams have like really terrible video quality. This isn't too bad gives you your date, your time, your GPS, your speed, and you can go through the settings and you can turn those on or off as you wish. So this is just basically some quick dash cam footage that I recorded when I head out camping so you guys can kind of see. And it's not bad at all. It is usable footage to re record with and post online for sure. But I'll leave it for you guys to decide in the comments below what you guys think. If this is a camera that you would use, or if you guys already have a dash camera, that's really awesome. Post it in the comments below, just so that I know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And there's another view of that dash camera there. Take care, everybody.